guys, it's Marina from Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict and I have another pretty big Dollar Tree haul for you guys. So I'm just gonna um, thank you all for joining me and um, go right into the haul. It's a lot and I'm really trying to get it done quickly so that I can get it unpacked and into the house. Um, I found so many exciting things at my Dollar Tree today. One of which was this. It says, welcome to the great outdoors. It's so cool. Do you guys see that? Welcome to the great outdoors. And it has um, backpack, dragonfly, fish, emergency kit, camera, grizzly bear, hiking, insects, map, jacket, kayak, or pine cones, navigate, lantern, s'mores, quail, utensils, or stargazing, it basically is every letter of the alphabet used in, well, except for stargazing um, and extinguisher, those weren't the first letters, but it doesn't matter because all the other ones were the first letters, and it's pretty amazing. And um, I think I might take it out of the sort of cheesy um, Dollar Tree frame and put it in a cuter frame and put it in my camper because I think it would be so cute in my camper. That's what I bought it for. I really love it. It's super cute. I might just leave it in that frame because campers don't have great things in them. Um, another item that I found is this awesome sign that you self inflate that says birthday and it is a Greenbrier product and it says it's easy to inflate. Uh, use the included straw or balloon or a balloon pump, but it's like those other ones that you inflate with the little straw, and um, it's amazing. It's 25 inches. That's a really big one. Then I did buy this uh, cool felt birthday garland banner. I've actually bought it before, and I have no idea where it is, but it really is so beautiful when you put it together. It's really nice, and it comes with this awesome baker's twine, and it just looks very, very, very nice when you put it together. You would never think it was a dollar. Um, two other items that I picked up, and actually my son and I had one today each, um, was this Oberto Specialty Meats Beef Jerky. Um, we had the teriyaki flavor, and we have the original flavor left, so I bought four of them in all. They don't have any MSG in them, no artificial ingredients, uh, wood smoked, and gluten free. That's pretty. That's pretty good, actually, for beef jerky. No MSG is pretty awesome. Uh, I did pick one of these up because I went to a couple of Dollar Trees and none of them had cotton balls. So I really just needed cotton balls, and I just decided to just buy these because I could always use this little box for something else. So. Yeah, I'm probably gonna put my Band-Aids in this box and put those in my cotton ball thing. The next things that I found are pretty, pretty cute. I really love them. They are uh, by Mattel, so they're brand name, and they're Barbie, which is pretty cool, and I just, I love it. I love them, they're so cute, they are mini figures and they're six in all one of them is astronaut barbie i've seen people hold these i think but i never saw them in real life um ballerina barbie really cool and it would make a really great cake topper there's chef barbie who's actually a little chubby and um she's the only one that's a little chubby but you know, it's Barbie. What do you expect? Uh, rock st pop star Barbie is not chubby. She is perfectly skinny. <laughs> but Chef Barbie was chubby. Then there's Soccer Barbie. And Baseball Barbie. Very cool. I, I, um... Yeah, I, just, I think little girls are going to love those as stocking stuffers. And then the next item 
Oh, my son threw these in the bag. He actually loves these, the salted nut roll. He absolutely loves those. And they're by Pearson's. They are really good, actually. He loves them. And, of course, somehow he managed to find Warhead Super Sour Double Drops in green apple and watermelon. But when your kid is actually willing to go to Dollar Tree with you, you let them put anything they want in the cart, and it's all good. And then I found some super exciting stuff in the makeup section. I bought a bunch of these because the color is gorgeous. Uh, it's called Showstopper, and it is a plumping serum. It is really a beautiful red. I absolutely love it, and I think it's gonna make gorgeous gifts, and I picked up six of them, because they had like a lot, a lot of them. So I picked up six of these, and I was really happy to find them. They are really beautiful. The next items that I found were uh, part of that Flower Drew Barrymore line that we've all been finding. And that is so exciting to stumble across at the Dollar Tree. And I did find LB3, um, Rosy Future, and LB1, Pedal to the Metal. And we're gonna check them out. We're gonna open them up and test them out right now. I'm probably gonna break every nail trying to get these open because Drew really keeps her stuff on lockdown. I don't know if any of you guys have hauled these yet or tried to open them, but they are sealed like Fort Knox. Oh my God, that is so cute. Okay, so this is Pedal to the Metal. It's, um, it's like a really, and the tube itself is really cool, the actual packaging. It's a really pretty lipstick. But the lipstick itself is like a dark, dusty rose. And then the other one, Rosy Future, hmm, they look very similar. It's so weird because I keep finding them in twos and I keep finding them in twos that are similar. I did find some other stuff by, by Flower. I have to find it in the bags because every nothing is separated. It's just however the lady put them in the pack, in the bags from the store. So now this one is the Rosy Future. The Rosy Future is definitely lighter, and the Pedal to the Metal is more of like a burgundy pink. And the and the LB3 Rosy Future is like a real pink, like a like a salmon colored pink. So if that if that helps anybody out there, if you know which color you'd like better, because I found them in the same Dollar Tree, and I found two others. I found a LS12, which is um, also a flower lipstick, but it has a different case, but I'm not sure why. Those are not um, matte. Those are shiny lipsticks. I'm wondering if these are, these are called um, Kiss Stick Luxury Lip Color. One is called Morning Glory, and the other one is called Sweet Peony. This packaging again. <laughs> it, there's something really satisfying about peeling this off. I know it sounds really weird, but it's kind of like when you get a really bad suntan and you have to peel. <laughs> it's gross, I know, but I just can't help it. I reminds me of when you peel your sunburn off and I, or I used to love it when I would buy my lip liner and it had that little seal and you would just peel it off I don't know I would get so happy I actually just get happy when I open makeup oh wow 
whoa. Okay, so this is really unexpected. So on the bottom of the tube, it says LS11 Morning Glory, and this is the color that it should look like. And then when I open it, it is like, wow. It's really nice. That is amazing. It's like, it's very matte. It's, I mean, do you guys see the like, it's so matte. It's almost like, like concealer almost, but it has shimmer. You could probably use it as highlight as well. It's very cool. Wow. And that one was Morning Glory. But I think I might use it as a highlighter. <laughs> I think I would even try it as a lipstick. Her makeup just has really nice consistency. It just feels good. Like it's made of good stuff in it. Still a sticker left. And this is the LS12. That is called Sweet Peony again. And it looks like that on the bottom. So it looks like Barbie doll pink. Literally, it looks like Barbie pink. Now let's see what it looks like in real life. Maybe that's how it ended up at the Dollar Tree. Wow, that is Barbie pink. If you like Barbie pink lipstick, but it's matte, it has a beautiful, like, it really has a really beautiful coverage. Um, it's just so, that's a really nice pink for people who like pink. It's like a true Barbie doll pink lipstick. And Morning Glory is very faint. It's almost like chapstick. I bet it would look like your naked, like nude lips with a little shine to them. Really, really beautiful makeup. And I did get quite a few of those. They had a ton. I bought quite a few so that I could gift some of them to the women uh, population that I deal with in the shelter system. It's my magic bag. What else do I have? Now, there's nothing exciting in this bag, actually, because these are the last minute things that I threw in the bag after she had packed everything already. But I did pick up two packs of the forks because I do love not having to always do dishes. So, and my long receipt. It's always high. What else did I get? Hmm. Oh, I did find a, I actually found a lot of exciting stuff. And uh, I did take some footage of some interesting toys that they have in the toy aisle. I did pick up one of these puzzles. It's only, um, it's like a kid's puzzle. Not a lot of pieces maybe like 20 pieces, but I think it's a really good puzzle for kids to do so that they can accidentally learn the states or even on purpose, but kids tend to like learning if it's by accident. So I picked up one of those as a gift. Oh, and here's the other flower stuff that I picked up. I find these, I found these eyeshadow chubbies and it says teal we meet, EC3. And that is a really cool teal for um, eyeshadow. And there's, there's no doubt that that's the color that it is because that is just teal all the way teal. I'm not even going to swatch it. It's creamy teal eyeshadow. Pretty cool, I think. Even though it's super 80s, I love it. Um, so I found these and they do have others, but I picked the cupcakes. They had like, um, uh, this one is lime and this one is strawberry, but they do have banana, pineapple, and mango, but they're all in the shape. So they're like scented slime and they're in like a container and then you just open it and it's slime that has a scent to it. 
And I mean, kids love these. These are also by Orb um, that they've just been having tons and tons of stuff from lately. And um, I picked those up and there's footage of other kinds of slime that they had available. So it looks like I found everything from the science area that I, that I bought, but there were others that I didn't buy. First, I saw these crystal tree um, growing kits, and I don't know if you guys have ever tried these. They do come in multiple colors. I picked up a, a pink and a green one. When my child, when my son was a really little boy, he absolutely loved doing these things. Crystal growing kits are so fun. So if there's anybody out there that's never tried it and you think it might be really messy, it's really, really easy. After I do this video, I'm going to actually have him do it with me and film it so we can share with you how simple it is. And it does grow crystals like really within, I would say, 48 hours. They don't always completely... They're not always completely done within 24 hours, but within 48 hours, you have like a cool, cool crystal that your kid's gonna be amazed about. I love these. And when he was little, I didn't get them at Dollar Tree. I got like a really expensive one from the museum and it had like 10 different types of crystals I could grow, but I would have happily bought it for a dollar. It just when he was a really little baby, I just never saw these kind of things at the Dollar Tree. Um, the next item that I picked up, I'm going to gift to a little girl. And it's just, um, it says, Magic Orbs Test Tube, over 40 sparkling jellies beads. Now, these are those like floral beads that, that absorb the water and grow. And I'm assuming once you put the water in, they'll like fill, fill, fill this test tube. But I, um, you know... It, it helps children learn about absorption and once you like do the science experiment you could pull up a YouTube video explaining to them what's happening here and they'll learn something from it but sending it to a little girl named Violet that might be watching right now and I think she's gonna love it the items that I picked up were also in the science science by me section for six for children six and older it's part of their like stem learning system and one of them is called Rocket Blast uh, Film Canister Rocket. And the other one is Exploding Volcano. Now, let's see what's in here and um, figure it out. Okay, so this is colored, I'm assuming baking soda. Oh my God, this is so cute. It has a little bottle this is so smart. It's an actual little teeny volcano. And I guess you put the vinegar. It's vinegar, right? It says that you need 50 milliliters of malt vinegar. So I guess they should have told you that on the outside of the package for those who didn't know that. But uh, luckily I have it. And... Um, I can do it and show you guys what it turns out like. The, so obviously the baking soda has color to it, so it's going to look like hot lava. That's pretty cool, I think. I think that that's a really good thing for a dollar because, I mean, kids are being homeschooled right now. And for a little extra something fun for them to do hands-on, these are great. I think that kids really enjoy stuff like that. And then one packet of baking powder. What do they have in here in this rocket blast? I know that they don't have a rocket in here. In here. Okay. Oh, it pops off. Like the lid pops off. Kind of like the Tupperware in the microwave. But it comes with these two little rocket stands and this canister that has a picture of a rocket and um oh i guess you put the powder in there and then the pressure builds up is that what happens i don't know this one might be kind of a letdown because the rocket is upside down the way you do the, the sticker is not really well i guess 
it's still the point is that it pops off and it takes flight and you put it together but my sticker was on the wrong way so it would be kind of like I'll try it out and I'll let you guys know how it turns out the next item that I got from the toy section are these amazing puzzles um, you know because of the coronavirus puzzles did kind of get really popular for a while there but the Dollar Tree always has puzzles and this one is so cool because first of all the picture is gorgeous but it is really a novelty you don't see round puzzles all the time and for a buck it's a very beautiful picture and I did take footage of um, the other kind that were available item that I picked up I picked up five of because I am obsessed with this um, mesh tubing mesh tube that looks like nautical cord um, it is amazing and I did use it in my DIY upcycle pillow for your back your front yard or wherever like outdoor pillow but um, I just love this stuff and the one that I finished I only had that one tube and I used it down to the very very last drop of this stuff so I was so glad to find more I picked up this little gray mouse that everybody's been hauling but I had not yet seen that's tail spins because my cat is like we call her the serial killer because she likes to bring us presents that we don't want so maybe she'll be happy just chasing this mouse around the house and we'll keep it away from Mabel because Mabel will eat it immediately and chew it up and spit it out and then the cat will get even more angry with the dog and they just fight day and night uh, the other item that I picked up I've never seen at Dollar Tree but I have seen other people haul it and I bought two boxes of it uh, was this it says value size three pouch pack of brown gravy um, my husband loves this kind of gravy it has like soy and wheat and probably even MSG in it it, it does have MSG not that anybody cares but um, I don't like this kind of gravy but my husband loves it so I picked up two boxes and he can make it on his like special recipes that he likes to make that have or like gravy and pasta and boiling water and he just likes super plain weird food um, the next item that I picked up I've seen a bunch of people haul are these removable hooks that hold up to three pounds they are pretty cool and um, I'm kind of curious to see if they actually hold I've never bought um, command strips from Dollar Tree but uh, I like I like this um, wood grain that they have so I picked those up and we'll see how those work out I did also pick up four bottles of hand sanitizer because I'm still getting tons of hand sanitizer stuff for the shelter even though I did a drop-off I'm starting over again Next item that I like to use in conjunction with the window insulating kits I did get two of these from the tool bench section is this weather strip seal so first I put this in all the seams of the window so there's no wind really blowing through and then I put this in and I use the blow dryer part to blow dry it and really there's no wind coming into the wind this probably would be enough but I just like to use this to be extra special sure that we don't get cold at any point there's no reason to get cold and you save money on your energy bills Um, I did pick up quite a few of these puzzles. They're made of real wood. But they're by Greenbrier International, but I real wood toys are really amazing to me, and I just think that for a little kid, this is a really nice toy. It says it's for 18 months, and, you know, I wouldn't trust a baby to be playing with something this size, but that's just me. But with supervision of a parent... You know learning how to do a puzzle together with an adult I think would be really fun and this the next item that I picked out I got I got three of them actually and I really love them I'm gonna hang them on my wreath stands underneath my little wreaths with some uh, battery operated lights but what I really love about them is that 
And I think I'm like a genius for thinking of this. But I love that I got a green one, a red one, and a white one. And an orange one. So I can use them year round. I can use red and white on the summer 4th of July months. Um, green and red for Christmas. Green and orange for Halloween and Thanksgiving. And then I only have to store two items, but I'm always going to have a cool light on my, um, you know, entryway on my wreath stands. So I don't know why, but when I can do something like that, it makes me so happy. Like here, I just have four things and I just swap them out and they're kind of like interchangeable. That's what I love. I love home decor that I can just interchange seasonally. I just, I just think that stuff like that is so brilliant. And these are kind of really amazing quality. I was really happy to find these at the Dollar Tree. I just, I think they're amazing. I actually plan on putting the lid on it though, so that when I put it outside, water doesn't go in there. Even though the battery operated timer lights are waterproof, I don't want this thing to fill up with water. So I'm just gonna put a mason jar lid on them because I have them and put it out there with a, a battery operated light and it'll come on every day. They last like the battery operated lights on Amazon that I buy, those batteries, the little, little lithium three, I think they're three volt batteries. They last like two months. So usually within like an entire season of decor. So that, that right there is a score in my world. The next item that I picked up is this golden apple. And I know it seems like a weird purchase. It's really, really pretty actually. But um, I bought it because uh, my son was baptized in a church in Astoria, um, a Greek Orthodox religion. And um, they, they like have this custom that you can bring offerings to the church, uh, the um, icon and apples are like, something that's customary to bring in gold and different things like that. So if we're allowed to ever go back into the church, I will have my son bring it for, um, for like an offering. Uh, the next item that I picked up is, uh, these fuzzy, they're not fuzzy dice, they're foam dice, two pack. And I'm going to be doing a DIY with these that I'm sure a lot of you um, Dollar Tree addicts out there have already seen, but I'm going to be doing my own version of it. And I just wanted to make one of them because I feel like you can do so many different things with these four, you know, they make like words with them and stuff like that. But I love the idea that you can switch it around and I just, um, yeah, I want to give it a try. It looks very cool. Uh, the next item that I picked up, again, is another thing that I'm addicted to buying at the Dollar Tree. I got these cool red letters, and I did get some numbers because I didn't have any from the wall, the wall decor section, and I did buy another font of letters because I wasn't sure if I already had them, actually, so I bought them again, but you can never have enough letters. Last but not least, oh no, not last but least, don't listen to me. Uh, one of the other items that I found that I have seen many times, but then sometimes I don't know if this happens to you guys. And if it does, let me know. Are you like, have you ever like walked through Dollar Tree and seen this thing a million times? And then out of nowhere, you're like, oh my God, I know what I need that for. Well, that's what happened with this. I found it in the wrong section. I actually had gone with my son and my husband and they hate being a Dollar Tree. And we were in there for just a few things. And this is what I came out with, by the way. And um, I was like, oh, and I need that too. And my husband was like, they always have that in Dollar Tree. What do you need with that? And I said, I just realized what I could do with it. And he was like, what? And I said, I'm going to put my, my facial spin brush in it. And actually, I'm so excited because the hole 
is exactly the right size for it to go face down so that it doesn't get moldy or yucky. And the other one, because you know it has like different attachments, the spin brush. And um, the other one, the handle could go in here and it could go in the shower and all of the other compart parts of the, it has like six different attachments, like different size brushes to wash your face with. So I could put those all here and then put the brush sticking up that way. And it will hold it because it's not super heavy. And I love that. That way it doesn't touch anything else in the shower. So I know that whatever I'm putting on my face is super clean. I just, I, I was so excited when I thought of that in the store that I was really thrilled. And you've subscribed to my channel and you happen to watch my DIY video, then I just want you to know this is the pillowcase that I picked up. It's just a simple uh, pillow cover in black jacquard print from the Dollar Tree and this little decor piece in the um, fall decor section I don't even know what people are supposed to do with this maybe part of their tablescape or hang it on their doors or offices but I um, made really cool outdoor pillows with these and maybe I'll make an extra one as a gift since now I have extra purchases that I made in the Halloween section are these awesome LED projectors. They were kind of a wish list item and I every time I saw them they were mangled and I didn't think they would work so I picked them up. I only have a pack of batteries that I bought. I bought an eight pack of batteries so we can test it out. Uh, they're triple A size batteries. I think I showed it to you guys upside down. Oh, I'm so happy it does. I was like, oh, Marina, it probably needs a screwdriver because a lot of the things now you have to unscrew and I always end up having. I decided that I'm going to use this in my bathroom as decor because it's really fun. I'll remember to turn it on when I go to the bathroom. Plus, when you walk into the bathroom, it's pitch dark. And if you plug this on and leave it on, everyone that goes in and out of the bathroom is going to get to see how amazing that is. That is really cool. I'm about three feet from the wall and that's shining on my wall and it's really detailed and I think it's pretty amazing for a buck. It actually works, I can't believe it. All right, what could... I forgot about my other exciting Halloween finds. Boo, yay, I forgot about these. The other item that I picked up that I just love, uh-oh, I hope it works. Are you not working? Up, oh, it works. I hope I'm not blinding you guys. It's a spooky cat solar light. So cute. And a happy pumpkin light. So cute. It's actually starting to get dark and they're really bright. Really, really bright solar powered lights. I like to put them on my one step into my ranch bungalow. <laughs> And that way, if we get home late, it's like pitch dark out here where I live at night. So if you get home late, it's nice to have these on your step so you could see where you're going. And uh, wow, I really bought a lot. My, I'm surprised. My husband and my son are starting to really get um, used to the fact that we're going to be in Dollar Tree. I think they made it like a whole 20 minutes in Dollar Tree. I picked up two of these gorgeous succulent trinket dishes because they're just so cute and I love this shape and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them but something might be happening with these because I like this shape a lot. I have no idea what section of the store it was supposed to be in because I found it in the wrong place but I was like, hmm, what is that? And it is a bluebird Real bird sounds, singing bird, motion activated, recorded from nature. That's a lot of description for something that is only a dollar. Okay, so it does have a little tab. Oh 
my God. This is going to drive my cat absolutely crazy. Oh my God. My cat is going to be like, yay, it's hunting season. My cat's name is Marmalade. She's going to be so happy. She's going to think, do you guys hear that? That might get annoying actually. Hmm. Well, if it annoys you, that's when you stick it in a drawer and take it out some other time. But I think it would be cute to put in your Christmas tree um, or something like that or in your like door wreath so that when someone comes, they think there's a like real bird in your door and then it makes the bird sound. I don't know. I, it is kind of annoying after a while, but I'm moving a lot. So if it stops and then starts again, it's very fun. It's pretty cool, actually. And then I picked up one of these because I'm sending a package out and I think the little girl that I'm sending it to is gonna love it. So I picked up one of these. But when I was young, I had these too. I, these have been around forever and they amaze me. Don't you guys secretly love them? I do. Picked up, was so cool in the game section is this Friends Trivia Game. I know they've had other games before but I've never seen the Friends Trivia Game and I thought it would be a great gift during the holidays, so I picked it up. And I did pick up a pizza pan and one for my girlfriend because I know that there's so many exciting DIYs, but no one can find these pizza pans anymore. And I got a huge wish list item, this one pound bag of candy because I'm gonna stick it out on my deck this Halloween in a big cauldron um, that I actually got at Dollar Tree last year. Oh, that microphone is um, amplifying my voice. I don't even know where I put it. Anyhow, I'm gonna put this in um, my giant black cauldron that I got in last year's Dollar Tree haul and leave it out on the deck and kids can take this candy. It looks like it's actually good candy. It's from Target. So, it was originally sold in Target, so, I mean, it's got to be good. For a dollar, I'm glad to get it. I love the Dollar Tree wall art canvases sometimes. I picked these up for all my farmhouse decor friends, and there's so many of them. I picked up three of these because they're wall art, but they're just the old farmhouse looking house. And really this is really cool you could just stick like a red bow on it at christmas time or a piece of holly and like decorate it but i just think that it's really cool for i know a lot of people that have farmhouse decor and they like really go crazy over it and they're gonna love that and i picked up i picked up a couple of sets of because i just love them i think these are so pretty i actually I actually have this flower pot right here that's in these pictures. I have them. I have very similar flower pots to that. And I got them from Target from their, what is that collection? So it's so weird that I found these and I feel like I have to find a corner and stick this in it. And then, I don't know, but those little fake cacti from Opal House collection and these two wall art pictures have to somehow all get melched together and live in a happy moment somewhere. And I'm going to find it. And then I picked up an extra set as a gift because I happen to know a lot of cacti obsessed humans. And I picked these up because I just, I, I think they're amazing actually. And the back, the actual thing that you hang them on is like better than ever. It's really sturdy which I don't remember them ever having such a sturdy one before, but these are um, like uh, two different type of sea critters. This is like a shell and here is a starfish and I love them and they're gonna go in my bathroom somewhere cause they're teeny tiny and I could still fit that in my bathroom. What else is in this endless magic bag? Oh, I did get another pack of cow tails. And clearly somebody ate some from them already. They're pretty delicious. And I picked up <clears throat> a pack of Bloody Bites because although my son is a teenager, he does get a kick out of these vampire. They, it's like, 
it's basically like fake teeth and then fake blood, but it's like sour candy. Really, he just likes the sour candy. He probably just wanted it for that reason, but he, cause he, he also bought that other sour warhead liquid, but he secretly loves these and he likes to walk around and he likes to walk around. He loves these every year. So he put them in the cart and I happily paid for them. And the last item that I picked up, I think is a repurchase, is of these Cool Aid, Ghoul Aid popping candy. Um, I think I did haul them the other day. Well, even if I didn't, my son loved them, so he threw another bag in the car. They're delicious. They're like even better than the original popping candy, and their their packaging is really funny because it's called Scary Berry Ghoul Ghoul Aid Cool Aid popping candy. So yummy. Um, it looks like. That is everything. So we've ended this haul and it's like, it was sunny and nice out and it's almost nighttime out. I'm so grateful that you guys are here. I tried to do this haul as quickly as possible so that it didn't go over an hour. And I appreciate every single person that logs into my channel and watches these videos. I love you guys and I appreciate you. And I really, really would love it if you left me a comment so I know where you're from or answer my questions or just let me know why you're here. Um, anyway, I need people to start leaving comments so that I can do my 600 subscriber giveaway. I'm going to be giving away a $30 gift card to Dollar Tree, and I'm really excited about that. I picked up the Dollar Tree gift card, actually, and I was going to show it to you guys in the video, but I lost it in, in my purchases. My car is like basically like a bomb blew up in it so I can't show you the card now but I will show it in my next video and get you guys to start leaving comments so that you can get picked I think that the random picker goes by like the more comments that you leave the more chances that you have of getting picked isn't that how it works I don't know maybe somebody can explain it to me because I've read it a million times and I still don't understand that but I think it's important that everybody start leaving comments so that they might get picked as a winner in my giveaway of 30 bucks for um, Dollar Tree shopping, free Dollar Tree shopping, guys. So anyway, I really appreciate you being here and I uh, would love to have you come back. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and um, stay well and stay savvy, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.